everybody, I'm the Pigglesworth. Welcome back to Alpha Craft. Starting out over here at the gate so we can just make our way into the base. Now, between episodes, I've done a little bit of off-camera work. Yes, I did. And there's still one more thing that I need to do. Now, I uh, uh, recently, the whole group went over to the inn. They fought the dragon. And I, then I think it was uh, Frilioth went over there and made an ender ender. So we can actually get like quick, quick levels, which is awesome because I've, oh, I don't have it with me. Uh, we'll go up there in just a second. I'd used it to, um, to repair my pickaxe. It was super fast, but then I got to thinking about it. You know what? We need to get some levels so I can get myself a really good axe because now that we've got a way to chop down trees and farm trees and stuff, I need a way to chop them down more efficiently. This iron axe business is for the birds. <laughs> but the first thing I did is I set up over here. I've got this little array going. We're going to need to get ourselves a super smelter going one of these days. And then I've got this little quick bone meal factory going over here. Just running over, pick all the, uh, all the stuff that I can all the different uh, vegetation, and just dump it in here. Make sure I got plenty of carrots to eat, but everything else gets dumped in here for bone meal so we can get these trees going. So f to support the tree farm, we need some kind of a bone meal factory, and then it will be nice to eventually get some kind of a uh, uh, mass smelting system going over here as well. But I figured let's go over here and take a look at some of the changes that happen off camera before we really get started with uh, what we're going to do with today's project. So I've extended out the tunnel a little bit. I went ahead and enclosed everything on this side. So we got that all in case. So it looks like it's part of the whoop. <laughs> looks like it's part of the tunnel system and everything. We've got our overflow chest uh, exposed up there, where it doesn't look like it, but that's actually an upside down stair, so we can access it. There's all my good stuff. Ooh, jungle trees. We'll need those. Um, and then right here is where I would dump stuff like sticks. We can dump those in. They'll get sent into the system, and everything's good. Is my volume up? No, it's not. Oh, there it goes. Well, I got cranked up loud. <laughs> Maybe I didn't want it loud over here in this spot. And then I've managed to get enough of these uh, item frames going so we can get almost half of this done. We still get a little bit of a lag spike walking in here, and I can't tell if it's server side or client side, if I need to light up a few more things down there. I feel like it's pretty lit up down there to begin with. But I did this. I went ahead and named the leaf block before we put it in there. So that way, when you look at it, you can tell without having to open the chest, that's acacia. Because these, the different wood types, you can definitely tell by looking at them what it is. Dark oak and spruce kind of look similar, but I've got this in alphabetical order. So D and S, they're far enough apart, that's easy to figure out. But these leaf blocks, when you get the leaf blocks close together, it can be very hard to figure out what they are. Um, I feel like jungle leaf blocks are the easiest to spot because they have the little fruit looking things. And then I've got myself a blast furnace and we've got regular furnaces over here going. So that's kind of what I've done in this spot. I'll explain all that in just a second. Let's jump over here. Um, like I did with the snow factory, I've just gone ahead and encased all of this stuff in more of these uh, cook stone blocks. So we've got all of this encased and safe now. And let's jump down here. I want to show you. I, I, eventually what we're going to do is we're going to have a maintenance level to the base. Uh, an, a way to get down and actually access all these redstone builds behind the... You know what? I need a pickaxe. Piggy! You can't just beat the stuff to death and make your way in. you got to get a pickaxe so you can break the blocks. So let's see here. Let's go over here. Never leave home without your pickaxe. There we go run back over here but yeah i want it where uh it, there will be like an underground system underneath the base for easy access to all of the redstone stuff and maybe even like a secret tunnel system where if somebody's chasing us or whatever we can run around the base and they can't find us <laughs> but see i've got all this open so we've got the snow factory right here and then we've got the wood uh sorting collection system i went mr frilly off later sir and I've gone ahead and enclosed all of this as well. So all this inside here is spawn-proof and lit up. And see, all the redstone stuff right here, there's lamps. The only other thing I can think of is maybe put some lamps right here for these redstone torches. You know what it is? It's, it's not the redstone itself that causes the lag. It's the light emanating from the redstone illuminating the area around it. So when these redstone torches light up, 
all this area around it that's getting lit up. I think that's the lag spike that's going on. See, all this is lit up pretty well. So maybe if we add some lights to where these redstone torches are, that will cut down on that little lag spike. That'll be nice. Let's go ahead and break on out of here. So far, this is the only way I've got to go in and out. I need to plan a spot that's going to be like an official entry exit way, but also make it kind of hidden so that it'll be easy to get to, but it'll be a little bit harder for people to just spot. Now, I haven't completely filled this up because I found a nice patch of gravel. I want to collect this stuff because being able to make concrete is something I want to do in the future, and as storing up gravel as I see it is something I like to do. But for today's episode, what I want to do is I want to extend out the rest of this tunnel so that this area is completely safe, it's completely spawn-proof, but I also want to encase this tree farm and I want to decorate it. So I want to kind of get this area finished and looking nice. So if we get any visitors, they don't see this this halfway mess over here. You know, the pigsty, as, as it is. <laughs> that they actually come over and they see a really, really nice uh, build. So what I've been doing between episodes is also chopping a whole bunch of trees to gather uh, just wood materials and stuff. And what I've done with these scaffolding is I grew uh, uh, some jungle trees. And one of them grew super, super tall. So I came all the way up to the top of the scaffolding and tried to get the top of the scaffolding to be, I think, one block higher than the highest leaf block in the tree. And this is really, really high up in the air. And I thankfully, it's lower than this peak. So that means that whatever we build here is still going to be behind the peak. But I mean, you can see how high this is. Like, we could see... If somebody was coming to our base right now, we could see them. <laughs> right there's my little station for working on the outside mountain mountain area. But whatever we build here, it's got to be tall enough that it's, you know, its roof line is going to be maybe a block or two higher than where I am right now. So I didn't really think that one through. I probably should have dug the, the tree farm itself down just a little bit. But I think we're going to be okay because we're trying to build mountain peaks and stuff around it so i tell you what i'm going to do uh i'm going to go ahead and do a little off camera work here real quick just because this is going to be like some tedious um experimenting trying to figure out some stuff what i'm going to do is i'm going to try and get myself an enchanted axe with some good uh stuff on it just so that we can you know have really good enchanted tools an enchanted axe and an enchanted shovel i think is about all that i still need i would really like to get an efficiency five silk touch shovel that would be awesome a pig can dream right but i'm gonna go ahead and do that i'm gonna start doing like the the a little bit of this decoration and stuff just to kind of work out the details and i'll bring you back and show you what what the plan is what the plan stan what is the plan well piggy's gonna show you <laughs> so i'm gonna quit babbling i'm gonna gather up my materials and start doing a little bit of work bring you back and show you the gist of what we're trying to do and then we'll try and get this project done in this episode so we can have this area completed and we can move on to further projects, all right? So y'all just sit tight. I'm going to go get all that off cough, off, off camera, <laughs> off camera, off screen, off camera work done. And I'll bring you back and we'll talk about the next step. All right. Got a little bit of work done. I can figure out where in the world I put this stuff. No, no, I know I can't sleep at night. <clears throat> Okay, check this out. So I, I dumped some of this stuff off in the chest because I had to run off and do something else real quick. But I managed to get... I, I got this diamond axe here. I still need to leave it because we still need to enchant it. That. Is that what it is? Okay. So I've gotten myself an Efficiency 5 Silk Touch Unbreaking 3 Shovel. I've got an Efficiency 4 Unbreaking 3 Axe that I'm using. Got some diamonds and some um, some lapis sitting there. Before I look and let you see what's going on. There we go. I also got an Efficiency 5 Silk Touch on Breaking 3. Now, you might be asking yourself, why in the world do you have Silk Touch on there, Piggy? Well, so it's a cool little trick that I had seen. Um, I can't remember who it was. Somebody in Hermitcraft was doing this. It might have been Scar, I think it was. But they were basically showing that if you'll use Silk Touch on an axe whenever you chop at trees, every once in a while it'll drop a leaf block by accident. Because, you you know, you're like, I got to get a leaf block out of the way to get the last little log in a jungle tree or something like that. Um, and normally you would just break that leaf block. You might get a chance of it turning into a sapling. But if you've got a Silk Touch axe, 
you'll get a leaf block from it. And so over time, you could end up collecting a fair amount of leaf blocks, which is nice. Like I don't have to necessarily grow a tree and uh, shear it with shears. We could be collecting leaf blocks. And I figured that would be a good little feature to have if we're going to be over here with a water collection system. Then I could just, you know, slowly collect leaf blocks as I need them. Let's go over here. I'm going to turn left and I'm going to show you what I've been working on. Now, I'm kind of on the fence about this. In my mind's eye, I see it as one way. And then as I build it, it's kind of looking a little different than I would have thought. Not as grand and majestic as I would hope. Now, the reason why I'm holding out is because I still have these to enclose. And let's see, I'll turn around over here. Just so this will make a little bit more sense. Get over here. It, it's a little too squarish for my taste, but I think as we start to work on the sides, I'm going to do the same kind of ideas I've got going on right here. I think once I get about above that line, I could actually work outwards a little bit and I don't have to worry about pushing into the entrance way. I just have to get past that, that roof line of it. But we can see that it's, it's pretty darn tall uh, structure pretty big open area to allow for all of the the trees and get all these different walls and there's something interesting I want to try and do with the ceiling I haven't quite gotten there yet and I'm not going to tell you what it is but I'm going to try and do something cool with the ceiling but once we get past this point we're going to curve downwards the cave and make it meet up with this now my only concern is this is very this is a very narrow area to try and do this. So basically I'm gonna curve this wall around to go that way. I think I'm gonna leave this area open, like I'm gonna slowly build it, build it, build it up a little bit. So it looks like this big, just cavernous area that's open. Like I didn't want it to be walls right in here and just a little opening. I wanted it to be where this kind of curved downwards and back upwards a little bit. And so it gave you the ability to see the sense of how big this area actually is but I'm kind of concerned about it like I said it's it's not exactly unfolding the way I would hope in my mind and I'm, I'm letting the sun go down because I want you to see as the sun goes down it just it gets a little bit more concerning about how dark it's actually going to be up in that area and I know that that is spawn spawnable it's all spawn proof I do like the way that the uh the shadows show up it's is it just me or does it seem like that wall is more defined because it's darker? So that might be something we could play with. I might be able to actually use that to my advantage. I kid you not, looking at this, that looks like an eye. It looks like a mouth, a little body. That looks like the face of an owl with like its one eye obscured by something. Great, now I'm always going to see the face of an owl when I look at that wall. <laughs> Oh my gosh. But yeah, I've, I've got a little bit more work to do. I'm going to go and close in the sides and uh, sculpt the top a little bit. And then I'm going to try something with the top. But if you notice, I've got each pillar is one of the six different trees that we can, um, that we can do. Now, you know what's going to happen. And I partially am joking, but I'm partially serious. Once I get this all built and I have... Um, committed to only having area for six different type of trees, Mojang's going to go and add some new tree to the game. You watch. I guess I guess if they add one, we have a spot we can add a beam right there in the middle. But if they start adding more, might have to start messing with stuff. So Mojang, here's your cue. Add some more trees to the game. <laughs> oh my gosh. But yeah, okay, so with this little update, that kind of gives you an idea of where I'm going with this and what I'm trying to do. Now we've got an owl face in the wall. So I'm going to go ahead and continue on with it. I'm going to go ahead and finish up the boring bits, just the different cave walls and stuff. And then I'm going to look at the time and see how everything's going. I may come back and show you that, or I may come back once I've kind of worked out the ceiling detail, just so we can see how everything's going. Okay, so y'all just sit tight. I'm going to keep working on this. Like I said, fingers crossed that this is going to turn out really, really nice. We shall see. We shall see. All right. So <laughs> I don't want to edit away. I don't want to cut away because I'm scared. But I got to be brave. I got to be brave. I got to do this. I can do this. All right. So y'all just sit tight. I'm going to work on this a little bit more and come back and show you what hopefully will be an awesome result.
And here we are, up on top of a snowy, snowy area. <laughs> Look at there. This is where we really are. Oh, hey, Creeper, you just stay down there. That Oh, and we can even see the portal from here. That is really, oh, I need to clean that stuff up. Christmas is over with. We have to get, get that stuff out of there now. But I am way, way up here on top of this. I know this wasn't here before. Oh, where's the day trader? He ran off. Now I've been I've been smacking these guys, the llamas and the traders, with uh with a sword because I found out that you can't capture them, you can't make them stick around. After a while, they disappear, they respawn. So I've just been smacking them with a sword to capture their heads, collecting them, you know, in case we want to use it for something. There's that ice tray. I'm gonna have to do something with that ice tray eventually. But look, look how high up in the air we are. Look at this. Isn't this crazy? I know you're wondering, what in the world are you doing up there, Piggy? What, what? You said you were building a tree farm. What's going on? Let's go ahead and jump down. Whoop! Get down from there, sir. <laughs> awesome. I know I have elytra, but I'm still just a little paranoid to use it. I don't want to keep using it until I'm comfortable using it. And I've got stuff in my inventory I don't want to lose right now. So that's the reason why I'm doing that. But here we go. You can see that the cave is complete. You can see that the structure has been enclosed. And for those of y'all that watched last episode, if you didn't, what are you doing? You're watching them out of order. Go watch last episode. I'll wait right here. I'll, I'll just have a sit down right here. Okay, you done? Okay. <laughs> so in the last episode, I had mentioned this structure right here has actually been built. Like from the last clip you just saw to this, it's been about a month and a half gap. Because I was working on this episode doing this, and then all the Christmas stuff happened. So I went and did all that. But I finished this up. I just haven't recorded yet. So here we go. The Grand Hall. Look at this. And I thought it would be really cool if we hide lighting up in the ceiling, which you can kind of see. But then I used leaves from... So, like, that is jungle. So those are leaf blocks. And then that sticking out is... Uh, what is that? Oak? Oak? I think that's oak. Oak, spruce. Oh, I didn't even think that through. I've got dark oak. or No, no. Is that acacia? Acacia? Oh, no. Acacia, birch, dark oak. Oh, that's what I did. I didn't go in alphabetical in a circle. I went alphabetical this way and then alphabetical this way. Okay. <laughs> but I thought these, these little lamps hanging from the wall would be a nice decoration to add a little bit of lighting in here. And I'll tell you what, when I'm like up in top of a tall spruce tree or jungle tree, it kind of gets dark right up in this area. So it can be a little tricksy trying to um, hack those down w without all the shadows getting in my way. I may have to add a little bit more lighting. And then I went ahead and clogged this spot up right here. This will eventually uh, lead on to more uh, farms and automated stuff that's going to be down this this road. Here we go. We got this area all nice and sealed up and closed in. We've got our overflow, which has got all kinds of junk in it that I need to clean out. You should have seen this before I hit record. I had shulker boxes everywhere. I had chests everywhere. It was crazy. But I've also got this little area right here. So this right here is uh, where we're saving up bone meal. I'm getting this from the iron farm in town in Alpha by Water. I'll show you that in just a minute. Keeping a little bit of food here, any bones that I find. And this is my on-off switch. Now, I don't know if I can hear that or not. I've got my TV turned down a little bit, so I can't hear it too well. But if I flip this lever, that shuts down the minecart. If I flip that lever back on, it starts the minecart back up. So that's our little control for that. And then right here, tucked away, I've got some shears and some emergency axes. This helps me get leaf blocks if I need them. And then if for some reason something's happened to my axe, I don't have it or can't find it, we go ahead and grab that. And then my little, I don't know if I showed this or not. This, uh, like if I, like here, I've got sticks. I've got stuff that I've collected from chopping down. You can just dump it in there and it gets sorted automatically. And then this. This is what we're about to take off with. So let's see here. I'm going to stand right here. I can reach that. I'm trying to keep it where I've got at least a stack of a sapling type before I before I take off with uh, with the stuff. So there we go. We got that. And we're going to go ahead and run over to the, the lumbering pig because I have this stuff to deliver. And then I also have uh, some pricing we need to change. So I figured it would be cool to change the pricing on camera. So those of y'all that are curious how these little shop things work, I know I've tried to explain it. 
but just in case, figured we could do that on camera and, and you could see. Hello, mess. We'll get to you later. It's all the Christmas decorations you got to clean up after Christmas. Mm-hmm. Still loving this portal. This really, really cool dirt texture portal. Oh, I love that. All right, so we're going to hop right through here. I need to remember the face the right way. <laughs> and eventually, we're going to have to decorate this area as well. We're going to need to do something with this tunnel area. Now, I've got an idea of what I want to do, but it's going to be some crazy work to get it done. And I've got to ask a few people uh, if I can use a very valuable object on the server to see if I can make it happen. So, it, 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 you know, <laughs> just hinting at things. I'm not really going to tell you what. Okay, I've also found if I come through here, turn left and face this way. When we show up in the mall, we'll be facing forward. See, it takes it a second to reorient. But then, ooh, she's getting some progress going. Nice. See, there's more Christmas decorations that need to be taken down. And the Christmas store. Christmas store is still going. Now, I just found out from Spiderweb Ninja. Look, I didn't even realize that this was here. Elves bring gifts all year round, which means we need to also check and see. Uh, did our elf buddy bring us anything? Bring us anything for Christmas? So, this week's sale, this week's special, is Trapdoors. Trap doors, a stack of trap doors for a diamond. None have sold so far, but it's right after Christmas. I, I haven't seen a lot of people on the server. I think a lot of people are kind of taking some time off and stuff. So, and, and these guys are just still in here, just trolling my store. Can can we can we knock them down? Are they stuck? You get down. You go wander around in the mall. You too. Come here. Get down. And go wander around in the mall. There's so many more stores you could shop at. You're not buying anything here. You you might be running off the customers. <laughs> uh, and let's see here. Now I gotta make sure I put this down in the right spot. That'll work. So I wanna deliver some dark oak leaves. And I need to d uh, put some jungle saplings as well. You're just determined to be stuck in that spot, aren't you? Okay, so, hello pig. Let's drop that off. So that is full now. What did I say? Jungle? Oak? Jungle? Look, they're just determined to be stuck in those spots. All right, fine. Might have to take care of you off camera. Uh, one, two. There we go. So there's a stack. I know uh, Spiderweb had told me that Stina came by to try and buy some jungle saplings, and there weren't any. So there you go, Stina. There's some jungle saplings ready to go. Let's just check real quick and see, has anything sold for these? I don't think so. And then Zender the Mender. Have you sold any more books? Nope. So this has been going on. Uh, we sold a certain quantity and then it's kind of tapered off. So we are going to do a, a year-end blowout sale. So the way this works is, if you click on the diamond, left-click, you increase the price. But we are going to right-click and decrease the price. We're going to take that down to four diamonds per book. Me and Spiderweb Ninja talked about it. We wanted to. We felt like it was so easy to get these books. Maybe we need to decrease the price just a little bit. Uh, one, because sales have tapered off. But two, it's the end of the year. It's the end of the year blowout sale. Come and get your your uh, Zender the Mender mending books for four diamonds each. Limited time while supplies last. Listen to me. I sound like a, a salesman. Okay, so I need... I'm going to leave this here. That's going to tell me I need one more stack of jungle saplings. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to dye that box a color. I tell you what, y'all put down in the comment section below, what color should I dye this shulker box? And we're going to rename it the, uh, the lumbering pig. And that's going to be our delivery box. We're going to use this whenever we need to uh, bring deliveries over here to keep the store stocked. So y'all let me know what color would be the best color for that box. Uh, whichever color gets the most uh, comments will be the one that we'll use for that, that color. But we need to go back over to the base real quick. I wish I would have checked that before. If y'all just hang tight for a second, we're gonna run back over. We're gonna see what our, our, our shelf elf buddy brought us for Christmas because um, Spiderweb Ninja sold us that shelf elf buddy and it was, if you do nice stuff, 
Do we have to do that all year long? Do we have to drag that thing around with us wherever we go? I don't know. And I keep thinking maybe I need to pop one of my my heads on that. Kind of like how JJ and Wild have their two heads on the tunnel. That helps a whole lot figure out who's down what tunnel and in what direction. Uh-oh, I don't have a bed out here. I hope we don't have any bad guys sneak up on us. I don't think we will. And I see what looks like a sign on something over here. So I think something was delivered. Oh, there's a creeper. So let's... Let's take a wide turn. Okay, so you guys are still out here. Oh my gosh. Yes. Nice. Thank you, Shivers. Thank you so much. You knew exactly what I wanted. I wanted golden carrots. I got some golden carrots. I got some golden carrots. <laughs> oh, I love golden carrots. They're the best. And that mess right there, that mess needs to be dealt with. Yes, it does. But if you enjoyed this episode, please click that like button. And if you want to see more of these as I release them, you're not already subscribed and you want to be, go ahead and click the subscribe button. And if you like to get notified when new videos come out, make sure to click that bell. And we'll see, we'll see if YouTube notifies you. Let's run back over here. We can finish out in this spot right here so y'all can see one last time the grandeur of this room. I'm loving this. This turned out way better than I thought it would. It turned out very, very close and similar to the image I had in my head. See, sometimes when you're building stuff and you're not quite sure, just be brave. Just keep trying. And it, 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 there's a good chance it's going to turn out well. You just have to you just have to go with it. Just build and build. And if it doesn't look good, just tear down and rebuild it. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and keep chopping some trees. I'm going to wait for y'all's comments to see what color we need to dye this shulker box so that we can have our delivery box ready to go. I do need to put an inner chest over here as well, but I'll do that off camera. But yeah, I'm going to get all myself collected and ready for next episode. And that is when I hope to see you is in the next episode of Alpha Craft. <laughs>